welcome to wave propagation and antenna design youtube channel the main goal of the tutorial is to learn how to use cst microwave studio in this tutorial we will learn how to define a project how to define a project and how to simulate conventional wire antenna first we open CST studio then select CST microwave studio create and use new project templates select ok select create a new antenna template choose an application area select one select microwave and RF optional select antennas antenna strip template Press next then we select wire antenna press next we define the solver time domain press next define the units dimensions millimeter frequency gigahertz time nanosecond temperature Kelvin press next define the minimum and maximum frequency minimum 8 gig gigahertz and maximum frequency is 12 gigahertz so we select e field and fall field monitors fall field reader monitors press next finish so this is our template is created now this is our antenna created now we check background background boundaries now we check background material and boundary condition press background ok normal material apply ok now we check boundaries now we check the boundaries press boundaries for boundary conditions all the boundary condition will be open added space which assumes that the we don't assume any external condition to antennas add spaces open add spaces open. in this case the structure will be only a decrease part discrete part or discrete part press here discrete edge port name one as parameter 50 of them next one is one apply press ok this is our discrete port so now we are going to create simulation this is for we create the frequencies for simulation press simulator and start simulation now this now solver finished successfully so realize the results one dimensional results as parameters s11 this is s11 Now we are going to utilize the VSWR. This is the VSWR. Now we are visualize the two or three D three dimension results. This is three dimensional power field at eight gigahertz. This is power field result at 12 gigahertz 
This is at 10 gigahertz, 8 gigahertz results. Now we check the polar plot. This is the polar plot at 8 gigahertz. This is 10 gigahertz plot, and this is the 12 gigahertz polar plot. This is two dimensional results. the power field absolute acceleration theta theta phases pi pi phases theta pi theta pi slash theta and if you like my video please subscribe and like put like on my wave propagation and antenna design time channel thank you